Hey guys, it's Michelle with Cashel Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. Hope you guys were enjoying this month-long altered golden book series that I was creating um, for you guys and for myself, to be honest with you. Um, so this kind of wraps up the week that we were working on for Pooh's Grand, Advent Grand Adventure, um, where we pretty much... Um, expanded the golden spine with some fabric and then we did a pamphlet stitch to stitch in the signatures which i really think this came out super cute um i wasn't able to do a video for the ephemera um i actually fell short on time <laughs> so i pretty much just did all the ephemera and then just give you a walkthrough of the book um before i go through the book itself i'm going to share with you some of the stuff that I used for the ephemera, um, I pretty much used that Citrus um, Recollections paper collection. I also used the Cape Cod Recollections paper collection. <laughs> I did use some um, craft cardstock. I got this from Walmart. And then I also used some of the Blue Ombre Recollections. Now, I suggest just to use what you have on hand, um, but in case you wanted to see um, what I used, that's pretty much what I did. Um, you will find a little tiny bee from the paper studio. This was a recent Hobby Lobby clearance that I acquired. Um, and then I went through my stash. Believe it or not, I used to be, when I was a kid, <laughs> a sticker collector. That was the one thing I collected was stickers. And so over time, I just have an array of stickers in collections and I have them in subcategories. So I went through my Disney um, folder, which I'll just share with you what it looks like. It's big. <laughs> These are like 12 by 12 um, plastic things that I got from Michaels, oh my God, almost like 12 years ago. And I just organized all my stickers and sections. And what I like about these is they have fasteners so I can make it expand to be wider. And I just subcategorize them. So this is all Disney. Um, you could best definitely see how old these stickers are. It's pretty crazy. But you just add more adhesive, right? Um, the glue, and that's what works. So I kind of went through my stash. I didn't use all my stickers, as you can see. I just had them out just in case. Um, but I did use one of these in them. And then the paper collection that I shared with in the beginning of the video for the week um, was the Country Craft Creations collection Pooh's Adventures with Friends. This collection does have three sheets of all the cardstock that are double-sided. So I had a lot left over because I only used one sheet of everything for the signatures. So I went through and grabbed a few sheets of additional pages to basically use the embellishments um, that I use to make tags with. And so you can kind of see <laughs> I have some remnants left over. So this was from the other cardstock that I shared with you. But you can see what I, I pretty much cut from. Um, just to kind of tie in the collection with the signatures. And then I also used some of that cut apart. So as you can see, I still have leftovers. And then I went through my stash and grabbed some buttons in some of the colors. I just chose red, yellow, and blue. Um, and then some of the dyes. <laughs> So I did find that I had this Disney Winnie the Pooh um, stamp set that I picked up last year from Hobby Lobby. And I really like how cute they are. You will see them throughout the um, album that I put together. As well as some of these other dies that you may already have on hand and not even realize it. Um, because we sometimes forget what we purchase. Um, so with the Tim Holtz Thinlets, um, this one's 6 6 Five nine two six. I used this one here. Um, I didn't really use anything else, but I wanted to have more of those little tuck spots for this one. And this one's Thinlets six six five nine three zero. I use this file folder on one of them, and then this little tab. I also use this big one again just to add some variety of sizing within the thing. And then the rest were my all in create. I really love these things. Um, I used this tag die and then I really like how they have wider ones and you'll see them throughout 
this one i really like the embellishment all the way around along with this one so this one is is number 32 this one here is number 34 this one is number 33 and this one here is a number 27 so in case you wanted to look at them not many places if you're in the united states sell them i do believe um a cherry on top uh simon says stamp and i think now scrapbook.com has them but they are a um i think they're from australia so you know they have to import them in so we won't have them in the united states those who are overseas you may have access to them quicker than we will but sometimes it might take a couple of days longer to have it shipped in for them to ship your order kind of thing unless they have them on hand. So just to let you know about that, um, I did acquire this little puncher <laughs> um, from Hobby Lobby recently as a clearance. So I wanted to use it and I think it came out super cute. And then I also used um, this little collection of ribbon that I picked up last year from Hobby Lobby's clearance run. Sometimes you just never know when it's perfect for a project and it's like, oh my God, I have this. So I realized after I was done with this that I never made a closure. So putting this flat on the surface, it actually just lays flat, like an exact book. But when I lift it up and I let go, it is a little chunky. So in the sense that it doesn't really close all the way. I don't know if I'm going to off camera do any of the closure. I really like it the way it is, um, but I think it came out super cute and I'm gonna stop talking in regards to what I created <laughs> and pretty much share with you um, the guts of it. So I went through and you will see some things that I've added. Here I put the, oh, I forgot to share with you what that is. Oh, I'm so silly. Okay, the other three ones that I had left that I didn't share with you, I I purchased the Brutus Monroe Overdue Stamp. I don't even know if this is still available, but I use this sucker all the time. Well worth my money. Um, and then the Library Pocket is the Elizabeth Craft Designs 1984 Curved Library Pocket. Um, and that is this, and then you will see the little cut apart. So this here is actually part of the die. In the past, I never really cut apart that section. And in this album, I'm like, let's do it. So that is what it is. And then there is another signature, I believe number two, that I use this one. And I don't have a name because I wasn't smart at the time uh, to put a name. <laughs> but um, it's this little uh, pocket size. So it has this extra piece here that you can put the front. So that's it. Let's begin. So here we have um, the library pocket. You have your little title book that you can put. If you don't like Kayla, you can cover that up. That's your choice. Um, here I thought it was so cute. So from the stamp side, I put Tigger at the bottom to go with this whole orange concept. And I didn't glue the back all the way down for the library pocket because I definitely wanted to have that flexibility where you can add multiple things. Obviously, the placement of where everything is is not concrete. Whoever receives this book, once they put it on sale, they can move everything around what they want and go from there. I did add on every signature this little cute bulb pin with some um, jewelry on it to make it pretty because I feel like let's keep bringing in the femininity in it. And then when you flip it over, you have the pocket and that's where I created this cute little card where you can journal on the back or add a picture. These are really perfect for pictures because I feel like they're the right size. So, I mean, if you want to cover it completely, it's about five and a half by four and a quarter. So a four by six photo, you would probably just have to shave down and then look at Pooh looking up. I just think it's so cute. So not every page is gonna have some type of embellishment. Here I added a cute little tag from the cut parts, and then this is where I used one of those little small um, tags from the Tim Holtz Thin Lids and then took the stamp and then just added that there. So I think it's just such a cute little, little tucky -dee spot there. Um, I did leave the fabric there and as you notice I didn't do washi tape this time. I felt like if someone's going to cover it, it's going to do its job. So I figured let's try that out this time around. And then you have the page here. You're going to have the um, 
uh, music page and then I added again this tuck spot. One thing I honestly didn't share with you were these little paper clips. I did purchase these off of Amazon. Um, here is the number in case you want. It's about a hundred of them. I think they were like six dollars. They're very similar in size to the Tim Holtz um, paper clips if you like those which I super super cute anything tiny is cute so um i picked those up because i feel like i'm going to be using a lot of them making these journals and i wanted to have the flexibility of um adding them in there so it's the same kind of concept but a different style and then on the back perfect for journaling or adding a picture or you know adding whatever your heart desires and then we just keep flipping and then this one here is a little um, 3x4 that came from the collection. Here is another one. And again, I use a different color, but kind of use one of the same dyes. And then chose, so I, I chose where I wanted the dye to cut out of. And then it kind of forms a little seam. And then again, on the back, you have that option. So then it just, for right now, lives right there. So these pages don't really have anything. Um, in the middle of every signature, I was trying to figure out what to add. I was looking for beads, but I couldn't find any that I liked to go with the theme. I was looking for honeybees or yellow um, like circle beads, and I didn't have them, to believe it or not. Shocker, I know. But I was like, you know what? I have buttons. So let's see if we can find some colorful buttons to go in. So you will find the different colors between the blue, red, and yellow in different sizes within each of the three signatures. Now, if you don't like it, you can obviously just cut it off and, you know, do what you want with them. But I really thought they were kind of cute, something different to just put in the center of that. And then you have your coloring pages and then the back. Now, this is a little tuck spot. So you could definitely um, put something that tucks right underneath it and therefore it doesn't take away from covering it up with a picture. So I definitely like to just glue the top of whatever it is um, to allow that flexibility. Here is another tuck spot again as well. So not every page is gonna have an additional embellishment because sometimes I feel like this is just enough for it and then here's that little honeybee that goes there here um i don't know if you remember but i did purchase from uh dollar tree and they had these disney playing cards and they had like different um concepts and i pulled out all the winnie the pooh <laughs> so you'll find these scattered throughout the book but they're just so cute and it kind of goes perfectly with the color this one is actually from the collection itself so I didn't want to embellish these this time as I have in the other books because I feel like it's perfect the way it is. But you could definitely cover the backside up with a random, you know, solid sheet of cardstock if you wanted to like this. And then just um, cover the, the curve, the, the edges, and then write on the back. Or you can just slap a picture on top if you don't really like um, the characters coming through. So that completes signature one. So in signature two, I kind of wanted to change up not having the same type of uh, library pocket in the front. So that's why I went with this one. And this one has three tier options and you have the capability of going all the way to the very bottom. So each one will be able to slide. So this one is from the collection itself. So this is at the top. And then here is another one. Oh, ticker is so cute. From the playing cards. And then here is one of those cut parts from the collection. So you'll definitely see the polka dots in the back. And it's just going to live like this for right now until the person wants to move them around. And then here is another one of those cute little um, dainty uh, things. Now these I did get. They're actually Tim Holtz. Um, one of his jewelry lines. And I got this, um, I think it was last year in a mystery box from Simon Says Stamp. So they're, they live in a bag. I'm like, let's use them. Super cute. Um, so then here we go. I added another um, three by four. Here I decided to staple this little guy. Um, I don't know why. I just felt like let's use a staple gun. So I used my little tiny attacher and I attached him up there. 
And then with the um, Winnie the Pooh collection that I got from the Disney book, which is separate from the actual book that we're looking at, I added these little tabs. I don't know what drew me to it, but I wanted something different and I felt like it would be kind of cute to just incorporate that. Here is Piglet where I sewed him in a bunch of circles. <laughs> and then we have Owl as the playing card. And then here is another page. This kind of really didn't need anything, so I left it as is. Here is Winnie the Pooh. Now you could actually put something under here and I was trying to find something that would fit, but every time I would lift up the book, it would fall out. So it would really have to be something that would might have to be stapled or paper clipped in in regards to placement or glued down. So I figured I'll just leave it and that way you have like a little flippity flap. Here is another tab, so that will kind of indicate that this is part of that storyline. I covered up Mulan. You didn't know she was there. <laughs> I used some remnants of the um, collection, which I thought was kind of cute. And then I created this little file folder and then the stamp from that stamp set, which I think is just so cute. I left it empty because that way the person, whoever has this, can actually incorporate what they want inside of it. And then we get to the middle of the signature and again I added some buttons. Then here we covered up Mulan again. So what I did was I created these little cards. Now I didn't do the same color card for the envelope on purpose because I just felt like it was too much. But if you do want the same color card you'll find it later on in the signature. So this one was a leftover remnant piece of the fabric. And so I just put one of the cut aparts from the ephemera that came with the collection in there. And then this just lives here. Now, because I covered it, I actually created another tuck spot. So this does not move at all. So it does make the page slightly heavy, but um, you do have this cute little poo bear here and you will have another tab. So if you don't want this here, you can definitely still have access to the tab to, to turn it. And then you have, um, again, this is another little flippity flap of the fabric. And these pages really just speak for themselves. So I didn't really do much with those. Um, here I actually created a pocket with the fabric. So then I created this cute little tag. I didn't back it on anything like I had with the other ones because sometimes you don't need to. So I just decided to use that hole punch that I showed you earlier to kind of make that slot. And then I just used the twine and then just parked it in there. So then you have, again, another flap. Here is another one of those pages, which is why it has a tab. And I believe that's the last one of that book. And then we're back here to that funky page. I really, I liked it, but I didn't like all the colors. <laughs> so what I did was I actually attached um, the envelope in a different way. And so this allows you to pull out the blue card, okay? So this one has a cut apart of Pooh Bear with Piglet. And then you open it up and I just stamp some some stamps. If you don't like it, you can definitely just cover it up with something else, but it's just mainly just for a journaling tuck spot. Here is another little piece of the ephemera, and then you flip it over. I created a belly band, and again, one of those little tiny cards from the Thin Lit Dyes from Tim Holtz that I shared with you earlier. This is going to be slightly heavy because of the weight of the card inside, I liked keeping this only because it kind of gave you that busy work, but you could definitely slap something on top if you don't prefer it. And then as we move over, we're back to now the signature three. <laughs> so signature three is very similar to signature one that I have the library card here. I have another one of those um, title cards for the book. And then you have another one of those things, but this one is going to be in Eeyore's um, color palette. And then we have him at the bottom. So I thought that was a really cute touch that you had Tigger in the beginning and Eeyore in the back. And then I added another one of these bold pins that matches the same as the first signature. Now this one and the second signature were done in between the holes. So in case you wanted to remove them, they wouldn't damage the lace. But unfortunately, the first one, I actually had to pierce the lace. So it's just something to be aware of if you're going to remove them where you're not going to have issues on one of them versus the other. Here you're going to have um, another playing card, but this one's Eeyore. And then you're going to have another one of these um, 
tags where you can decorate the back as well as you've seen throughout the album and that's going to live there for now and then again you have another little card with one of those stamps that i created well i didn't create the stamps but i just added the stamps there here is a three by four from the collection and then um, we get through some more coloring pages. This one has one on the other side. So now we have Piglet, he's so happy. And then we have one of the music pages. Again, I just left it the way it was. We're now in the center of the third signature. So I added three buttons. I don't really, know. I just felt like I needed all the colors because <laughs> it just felt weird. Um, this one is another tag that's very different. And we have, so, this here where the bees are is pretty much what you saw as Tigger and Eeyore. But now with this one, I added the second piece of the tag because you can layer them. And then this one just has the bees and it just is going to live here for now. And then you have the other side of the music note. This is a little tuck spot. There weren't a lot that I could use for the ephemera. Here's another one that had another piece or a picture. Here is the other side of the coloring page. Here you have Eeyore. And then you have another little tuck spot down here too. So there's a lot of places that you can tuck things in. You have the fabric. And then here's another little tuck spot as well. So it's open. This flaps open. Here is another little um, 4x6 that you can utilize. And the last pocket. And we are done. So I really, really had a lot of fun making this. I wish I had more time um, to share with you some of the things I created, but hopefully in the next run. Um, I'm probably going to take a little break in regards to creating um, junk journals for a bit. <laughs> um, I do want to share with you guys some stuff that I've been purchasing off camera. Um, so you'll kind of see that in the next couple of videos, but I'll definitely be back with more um options to create different things i do have one in the works that someone re requested and hopefully i'll have that out to you in the next two weeks or so and then if you have any questions on any of the things that i've been sharing with you please let me know i try to put as much information as i can in the description box below in regards to measurements and options i've chosen um, if you're interested in anything that i used that i can share with you links i will do so definitely just shoot me a comment um, in the description box below or anywhere that you can make a comment and I will get back to you. But I thank you so much for hanging out with me this week. I really had a lot of fun making this. I really can't wait to make another one, to be honest with you. I'm already thinking about other ones, even though I have 35 stacked <laughs> still. Um, but, you know, you know. So anyways, um, you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for your patience in getting this video out to you guys today and have a great weekend and I will catch you on the next video. Take care.